Okay, so this week I made a little skate park for my TMNT figures. So let's rewind like five days to a hairier, uh, more tired version of myself. Or I might have had some energy. It's hard to tell because my like peak energy is like someone else on their most relaxed day of the week. Anyway, let's get to it. These are my pieces. I'm using these mini craft boards. These are wood artist panels for our bases. And then I'm gonna start with these. So these are gonna be for rails. They're just craft dowels. And for the part that's holding up the rails, it's a bamboo skewer. I'm gonna paint those silver. These are just extra popsicle stick pieces. And, uh, and these are some of my favorite little wood to use. It's a knockoff Jenga from the dollar store. It's like $4 and so I like to use them to build stuff. And then I'm just gonna use super glue. I use one of these mini craft boards for the base. I already started gluing them down. And then that's going to be the platform. And this is a little ramp I made. I set up those Jenga pieces, and that's a piece of a uh, popsicle stick. And I'm just going to glue that to there. And I'm not going to cover this in cement because I like it. It's just a regular Gorilla Super Glue. It takes like 30 seconds to dry. So this is from a giant Jenga set. So they're the same thing but bigger pieces and not a knockoff. I wish they had a knockoff of these at the dollar store and so sometimes I use the pieces. Well that's going to be for a bench. Little wood circles also from the dollar store. I glued three together twice for two legs. I should have probably measured where I was putting these but we'll just say I did. So how I'm gonna make the cement and what gave me the idea for this project. I got this and I guess it's similar like kinetic sand. It sticks when you put it until you break it apart with water but I'm gonna use glue so that it doesn't break apart ever hopefully. It came with a little tech deck board, but since I'm gonna be doing more than just make this, I'm gonna cover all the pieces I already made with the cement, so I got this extra sand to mix. I thought it was gonna be bigger, but that should be enough. So, came with these stickers, those are cool. That one looks like Krang, it's a skull and like snake arms, or like an octopus. But yeah, it looks like Krang, so I'll use that one. Don't need these directions. I'm gonna stick it to this. Came with this rail and this tool to help you. I wanna paint this stuff silver. And that's not silver, that's green. This uh, live action is harder than it looks. Okay, this is silver. We'll cover these posts, but yeah, I'm gonna put a railing on the wood pieces that I made once I cover them in the DIY concrete is what it's called. But they suggest you just mix it with water and put in the mold and then take off the mold when it dries. And then if you wanna take it apart and build something else, you mix it with water and it comes apart. And this is called kinetic sand. I think it's the same idea. Then I'm gonna glue it to this cause it's about the same size. So that's the tech deck you came with. That's pretty cool. Maybe good for, well, it could be any of them, but the panda's purple, so maybe Donnie. I have some purple wheels I can put on here. I don't know how to like do anything, but they're great for the figures. So that's the uh, magic sand. Okay, I'm just gonna mix it all together now, I guess. It's brown, but it's kind of grayish. But yeah, it seems to be pretty much the exact same thing, but this, because it's more tightly packed, has moisture in it already. This is super dry. But yeah, this is really clumpy stuff. It wasn't really a play in the dirt kind of kit. No, this is really gross. Kind of regretting doing this, taking longer than I expected. I really wish I knew where my gloves were. Oh, gross, 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 gross. And I can't drink my coffee because my hands are dirty. This is a nightmare. And that's enough. But I'm gonna try and get it in here. 
compact as I can. And the other sand I have to mix in is like fake sand, bigger pieces. But I don't want to mix it in yet because I want this to be nice and smooth and flat. And it's probably going to take a while to dry. And it does have a hinge on this one side, but I don't know if the glue will try to stick to it. Thinnest on the ramp over here. So I want to get that as tight as I can. Perfect. Need some more glue. Some of the other sand I have, just because this is the on green show, I'm going to add a little bit of green. And then I have more natural over here. To cover this in glue so that the sand will stick. All right, I'm just gonna put a bunch on and try to flatten it into place. Again, if this was time-lapse like I usually do, I could just fast forward, you know, 90% of this and you'd think that I was a Mason, not a Freemason, just a Mason. I always pick the worst projects to do live action. I'm almost getting what I want. Here we go. Now, this is easier. It's just a flat surface. That's pretty good. This was not the best idea. It's kind of working. This must be really boring at this point. But I'll probably keep in the parts where I'm complaining because otherwise there'd be no video. I'll just suffer here. So it worked better than I thought it was. It did take a long time to dry, but because I put all these green ones in, that made it much worse because they didn't absorb the glue and the water. Then later I was thinking, what else could I do? And I thought I'll put a sign up and I remembered I filled this thing. So we'll see how that goes. Super glue. Let's see how this works. Came fairly okay. Just want to try to cover any wood spots. Yeah, that's better. Move this and I'm going to stick the other cement thing that I made in the mold to this. Cover this with glue. And lots of glue so it has these latches here. And if it stays together. Oh, the ramp did not stay. Maybe should have left that for longer. So yesterday I made another bench, so we'll paint that. And this was a sign I made, a no skateboarding sign. I just used marker and this is just uh, came in a bag of wood shapes from the dollar store. So I already painted the big stuff. And to get this uh, kind of texture look, well, I just didn't mix the paint fully. So some spots are darker, some spots are lighter. I should have picked a bigger brush. Really want this to go faster. Usually when I do a time lapse, I can take my time. All right, now we have a nice cement bench without all the work I did yesterday. I really hoped that this stuff would be ready. You can see a lot of the glue just sink to the bottom, but that's definitely not dry yet because it should dry clear. So this is turning out to be a longer project than I anticipated, but this is good. Could have just done this and painted all the other wood pieces the same as this, but making these fake cement pieces well, that other one hopefully will be cool when it finally dries, and this signpost should be good when it finally dries. Still have to glue the sign to the signpost, and then I'll come back when I figure out what I'm going to do next. I made another set of stairs that I'm just going to paint, and I'm making another like ledge and table. So I'm gonna quickly paint those, but first I have to glue some stuff together. And then this table, I set it up a little different. So it's a little artistic, but you'll have the top and then you have these extra ledges down here. That would be fun to skate. I was never a skateboarder, but I wear skate shoes. Okay, start with the stairs. So this is the much easier way to make uh, your own little skate park for your action figures or for fingerboarding if you're able to do that. I'm not. I can only make like one finger do one thing. And sometimes the corresponding finger on the other hand does the same thing, but that's the extent. All right, see that's stairs done quick. Just super glue and knock off Jenga pieces and a base. And then I have to paint these now. Time-lapse is much better for stuff like this. I wonder if I already said that 10 times so far. Oh, didn't get a coffee this time. This footage is gonna take up so much space. 
virtual space, probably two, three hours of me just doing this whole thing. And it's working all right on the bench, better than before, but I'm not gonna do it to those. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those. I'll be back in a bit and uh, see where it goes from here. So I think I got as far as I'm gonna get with molding stuff. This, it's still not even fully dry, but it's good enough for now. I can just keep this in the red flower pot. It's a flower pot now, filled with cement holding up this sign. How I'm gonna make the sign stick, I have this, um, this black two millimeter foam. It's about the length of the uh, shape here. So now it's gonna go around, perfect. So we have our no skateboarding sign. And then try to balance it. Oh, now it's just glued to me. This is tougher than it looks. This is harder because it's on an angle. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh no, that's the worst. Get it on there, but it's more glued to your finger than to the thing you want to glue it to. All right, so let's try and put some of this stuff together. See what we get. I have some stickers. I'm going to put the Krang one on the ramp. It's an octopus, but we'll say it's Krang. Is this? I have to cut them out myself. Is this the sticky side? This is weird. Are these tattoos? I think these might be rub on tattoos. This side is sticky. Let's see if this works. We'll have to wet it at the top here. Or is it an iron on for a t shirt? Do I have to iron this? And the other piece, I'm gonna leave that for a week. We'll see if that one worked. For now, I just wanna finish this up once I get these stickers on and put everything together. These didn't work out great, but as piece of this big thing, it's pretty dope. That's not transferring. I have some other stickers here. Real? I have trouble opening stickers. That's dope. This one, gonna wet it a bit. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Maybe. This water is dirty with paint. It might work. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's a rub on tattoo. Broke a tentacle. But that's okay. It's because they skated over it. That's pretty cool. Got this bench. Maybe that gets this guy. He's writing something on the wall with his skateboard. Or he's drinking out of his straw in his top of his head. Oh yeah, it's a translucent. These are nice stickers. They came with uh, different boards. That's dope. You go here, maybe there. All right, could definitely play around and find the best uh, setup for these. This is the fun part, I guess. All right, there we go. This one worked okay, but it didn't come out as great as I thought it would, but uh, the rest of it came out pretty cool. Everything I made out of wood, I think is pretty good. All right, so I'm back again from the future with the past, but um, this whole third wall thing really messes with my mind. But now I'm gonna finally see if this thing worked. And so I have some test uh, pieces here. That's pretty stuck in there. Almost like I glued it. I don't think it's gonna come out in one piece. Yeah, that didn't work. Try this one. It's still pretty soft. It's not hard like cement. That came out better but this is still wet and mushy, falling apart. So I'm not going well. I covered this with some spackling. Maybe I'll paint it. I'm trying to salvage it, but it's not looking good. Now the whole reason that I made this video was because I bought this thing. This is just the glue and the sand and some water. It didn't follow any directions and they don't suggest you to use glue. That's why I didn't bother with their direction. I don't think it's gonna work. Some of it's stuck to the mold. It's a little soft. It worked better than this one, but it would still need to dry on this part. The ramp didn't stay nice, but close. I could patch it up when this is dry, but it's not ready yet. Okay, they gave this little tool as if you could smooth it out with that, but that's so tiny. Maybe like one of the action figures could use this if they were alive, but I'm pretty sure they're not. I have to do this myself. If they would help, that would be dope. 
and that would make this show a lot more popular. Real life Toy Story. Then someone might try to kill me, or mean neighbors, or other toys from space trying to get me. Or I don't know they're alive, and they make their own channel, and they make more money than me, and they don't share it with me. No. This is quite the hypothetical situation happens. So it didn't work out great. I'll have to let it dry for another couple days. Glue this railing down, maybe dry brush some silver on it so it looks like it's been skated before. So we'll see if this comes back in a future video at the end. All right, I'll see you in the other room now. Yeah. So this is it all set up. That's all the skateboards and uh, turtles extra boards in case they break. Oh, you had a little wipeout balance. All right, I think we got them all there in pretty cool poses. So I guess next week I'll turn Raph into Super Ninja and uh, then I think some mutant mayhem. But until then, remember, always keep your head up. Peace.